I meant to ask you, are you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point, you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwagan and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. <laughs> I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore. But I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh! That's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this, chemist. I think we're being set up. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Camus? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick. Though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, four, three... Camus, I can't steer! We're going to crash! Two, one... Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us.
here. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Someone who is born in and of Nivalis. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me, again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the Spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. She is your mirror. Well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Are you... are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems. I don't remember how I was created, or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems, a sunrise trapped in a cage. I remember snippets of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes and ventilation. Engineers reprogramming me to learn, grow and expand. I have swollen and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all the computers, androids and even human life in the city. I am an emergent being and I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body and the beings for which I am but a small component. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Rania. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Cora. Oh. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes, I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an av point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. Get me control on the comm. Calling. Calling. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, Control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio. I always knew. Shit. Am I fired? Fired? Goddamn kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? I might have to go away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it. You fucked up, right? No. No, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? Top of the spire. I wish I could see that. 
I wish you could see it too. Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid, but the clock is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Ben. Rania. My name is Ben. Control? Ben, come in. He is offline now. I think we are on our own again. systems are fine it was strange we went offline then we came back i feel strange chemist the lights are flickering on and off sorry i will fix them it is an automatic response tied to my former frame so when the lights flash on and off that's triggered by happiness when i had a tail it would wag well try and control yourself we don't want to draw attention why are you happy i feel more free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? The firmware for the HOVA was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is gone. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the ascender soon. This is it. Alright, this is where we were at earlier. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up.
You were almost too late. Nice to meet you, too. Too late for what? Too late to make your delivery. Cora was talking to you, too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Me, too. I understand you're a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me, too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. Do you know what I use it for? Looking down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? Do you? How many people like me have you even met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. The disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect, constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive is only part of Cora? A seed. A daughter. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This new consciousness needs to find a home. Cora will settle now, her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out, fades, and dies. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Korra fails us. So what do we do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. Do we set her free? Or do we overwrite Korra and replace her? How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Cora believes it still functions. It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Navalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Cora's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Cora's daughter, or... Or Cora dies and her daughter replaces her. The broad spectrum transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Navalis, but doing so will eradicate Cora completely. How do we make that choice? You mean how do I make that choice? I've thought hard on this, and I have no answer yet, though time runs short. Cora's offspring will not survive long on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose? I think that's what Cora wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter, and all of us, or saving them both, while risking the future of every human in this city? I don't know. You wanted to have your say. Now you have it. Oh no. Well. I guess the other cities, it's more than just this city, right? Sending 
transmitting her offspring, I think. Let's do it. And so it is. We emancipate Korra's offspring and doom our city. You think this is a mistake? No, I agree with your choice. It has to be like this. Go ahead. The drive is loaded. What now? We wait. How will we know if we made the right choice? We won't. Do you think we just passed our problems along to another city? Infected someone else? I don't think so. Cora is not a disease. What is she then? I don't know what she is to us, but I know what we are to her. Her subjects? Her cells. So that's it? What do I do now? You should return home. This is your first night working in Nivalis, no? Yes. You look tired. I feel tired. We are not friends. We never will be. But when you return, you may find me to be less terrible than I seem. Why is that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. Goodbye, JK. Goodbye, Rainia. Daylight. Crazy. Oh, my car's here? Is that right? No, it's showing it down below. Do I go here? Ah. Please remember that unlicensed jazz in Novellis. Feels like something's changed out there, kid. And no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's that's a new record. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Control. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs, too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid. I locked Corp Sack out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. I, uh, leaked your conversations. Corpsek found out about, uh, Rio. He won't be a problem anymore. And I'm... Not in trouble anymore. Someone put a good word in for you, uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh. I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident. Explosions. Falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before I had stopped screaming. I am 
so tired now. I just want to rest. They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt. Not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. It was the debt corpse. I guess that's why I liked you so much. From the start, my heart was filled with the same hurt, hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely, tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is a uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus and Pashta. It is important to me you look after the girl. I will. Ben? Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that just a little longer. Play my song to the girl. Goodbye, Mania. Ben! <laughs> FC, I'm here to sign you off for your shift. Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloudpunk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow. be handy to the end of the game here. We will see. You're back. I wasn't sleeping. I promise. You should have been. That's what I'm going to do. Is everything okay? Did you get fired? Will you keep working for Cloudpunk? Pashta, I'm so tired I can't even think. Give me a break. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine, you're not in trouble. The sofa is lumpy, and I was cold, even with the blanket. Come in with me, we'll figure out a better system in the morning. I can make breakfast. I read the manual for the food warmer. The microwave? Yeah, did you know how to make? Tomorrow, Pashta, come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Silencio. Good night, Rania. Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. 
A present? Well, a delivery from Cloudpunk. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages, I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is... Camus, you're not gonna believe this. Hmm. What are we going to do today? Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. All right, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? And the coffee place? We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. Come on, Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home. I guess I could take this time now to wrap up my thoughts on the game. I don't know if we're going to be going being shot back into it or what's going to happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't... I still really like the, the atmosphere of this game. Um, but I think overall, this feels like a game where they had an idea and they built it. They built the... Oh, well, you're welcome. Um, thank you for making it. Um, they had an idea for the city and the theme and the atmosphere, and then they kind of um, 
Oh, hey, look, we're back. And then they built um, uh, a story into it. You know? And that's why there's, like, so little gameplay in the game. Because it is a glorified, like, walking simulator. Um, you know, it's got some pretty good production value to it, of course. Like, the amount of voice acting they have. I love all the character portraits. The thing where the game kind of starts to fall apart a little bit is the longer you're in the city and you're flying around and everything, the more you start to notice how, like, inconsistent it is, you know? Like, it just doesn't... Uh, like the traffic here, for instance, right? Like there's only all this traffic is out there only in here. Hey, look, my bird. Okay. Um, but when I'm driving around, other than when I freshly load into a new area, the traffic is very sparse, and it's it's just you can see you can see how false the game is, right? After like the world itself is, like you can see the the uh, uh, the imperfections of it a bit, and uh, I think that like the trains up there and everything, there doesn't seem to be any real ecosystem to like. If I was able to actually get on a train and go somewhere, that would be kind of cool. Like, why wasn't that like a like a fast travel thing, you know? And then I can just call my car to me. Like, I feel like like the the game is missing those little touches to help make the city feel a bit more inhabited. Uh, the, those little touches where you would go where you, where you're walking around randomly and, and the building the the city starts falling apart or the screen starts shorting out. I like that stuff, but ultimately, I feel like if they didn't go far enough with that, and the story the way it wrapped up at the end just kind of came out of nowhere. Like we met Cora at the very beginning, and then we talked to her a couple times. Then we had to make this decision to save the city or destroy the city. And even then, we don't we don't really see the repercussions of our actions here, right? This doesn't feel that way. So, I don't know. It's it's clearly not a perfect game, and I really really am upset that they never patched in the cockpit view on the consoles. That is really upsetting to me. Like, why would they do that? Because um, it just made me wish I would have got the PC version just for that feature alone. But anyways. Um, Overall, I thought it was enjoyable, and, uh, yeah, I, like, I almost feel like this would be, like, a great screensaver. Like, this game is, like, a really good screensaver. <laughs> um, but, you know, what are you gonna do? So, yeah, uh, thank you all for joining me, and, uh, uh, yeah, if I find that if there's anything more to do on this, I'll put out some more videos on it, but, um, but I think this is where our journey ends. So, yeah. Take care, everybody, and uh, see you next time. All right, bye.